Okay, hi, this is Cheryl with Arthritis Life, and today we're gonna to talk about some life hacks for different kinds of bottles. So you might notice on one side of me, there's one kind of bottle, and one side of me, there's another. So what's the difference between these two, and why should people with arthritis care? Well, typically, if you have the kind of arthritis that affects the small little joints in your hands, which is a lot of times osteoarthritis, also rheumatoid, which is what I have, or other inflammatory arthritis forms, um, then um, bottles that require you to squeeze them are a lot harder than bottles that require you to just pump. And the explanation for that from the occupational therapy perspective and the biomechanical perspective is that when you pump down, even though what's touching the bottle is your hand, the muscles that you're using are way far further up your body from your hand. They're even like, believe it or not, some of your back muscles will help when you push down on a pump or um, your bigger muscles. When you have to squeeze, then your thumb muscles and the joint itself, which is in between the muscles, um, you're, you're really stressing your small, tiny joints. There's really no easy way around that other than maybe, for me, my thumb is definitely one of the more involved joints. Involved in the medical field is like synonymous with kind of bad <laughs> or affected, again, meaning more painful, more um, discomfort, more deformities, more inflammation. Um, so what I could do, I, you could change the way you hold it if you have to use a bottle like this. Sometimes you'll get a cream or prescription that you can't easily do a life hack on. Um, you can hold, at least squeeze it with the what we call the ulnar side of the pinky side of your hand. That way you're avoiding the thumb. You could get a handy empty pump. You can order these on Amazon. And that's what I like to do as like a workaround strategy. So you can either get the help of someone else or you yourself can squeeze everything from your squeeze bottle in one giant fell swoop into this pump bottle. And now you can easily access your shampoo or conditioner or moisturizer through your handy pump bottle and what's nice about these is they're also reusable so you could even save money by getting like a giant maybe Costco thing of whatever it is that you want whatever liquid it is and again just to illustrate that why the pump is so much easier again even though your hand is touching it it's that you're using this big gross motor movement pushing down versus more of what we call like a fine motor movement, which is pinching. So when in, when in doubt, again, if you have the kind of arthritis that is affecting your shoulder, you wanna do the opposite of what I'm talking about. So what I'm giving advice for is the cases like myself where I have rheumatoid arthritis that really is affecting these tiny, small hand joints. So then if I go like this or even make a fist and really just you know, manhandle it basically, you actually end up um, helping your joints. So one of the principles of joint protection that we're really passionate about in occupational therapy is, um, is use bigger joints when possible. It's kind of like why um, you're instructed when you're lifting a box, you don't lift it away from your body, right? Because that's relying more and more on the muscles further away from your body, from your center of gravity. There's multiple reasons why you don't lift the box further away, but one of the reasons is when you hold it closer to your body, you can use those bigger muscles. So you're avoiding a lot of extra stress on your hands. To me, this kind of illustrates the, um, uh, what I like to simplify as a, the joint protection principle of you can either change the stuff that you're using, so change the kind of container, or you can change how you interact with the stuff. So I could hold this like really far out in my hands and that's really gonna hurt my thumbs. So that's kind of the worst way to do it. Or if I have to use this bottle, I could at least stabilize it and maybe still use some of those bigger muscles. A lot of times, I find at least having a chronic illness that is characterized um, in terms of um, periods of active 
inflammation or flare-ups and then periods of remissions, a lot of times it can you kind of feel a lack of control over it because you, even if you're doing everything right, sometimes you just get into a flare, but doing these little tiny things um, can help you feel a sense of control. Well, okay, I can't figure out what the root cause of this flare-up is, but I know that I'm doing everything I can to protect my joints on a daily basis. That's, that's kind of the attitude that, that helps me at times. Short version of this is um, if your little hand joints hurt, the pump bottles are what is most effective for protecting your, your tiny hand joints. Um, and so if you can, you might benefit, like I have, from transferring your squeeze bottle stuff into a pump bottle. Or of course, when you go shopping, you might want to just uh, filter what you're selecting for these qualities. So So if I have to use, let's say, this simple protection um, moisturizer, you can then, oh geez, wait a minute, this one's, okay, that's kind of funny. I don't have the hand strength to open this one, so let's try, let's try this one. Tribute to um, inflammation, so it's particularly for actively, I just saw a bug <laughs> fly across. Partic